Hi, welcome back to Move365. This is Mark Kennedy from Winchester Spine Centre. Remember, go onto the bio and click the link for the YouTube channel for the full length video. Uh, I'm going to show you some useful tips for looking after your back when doing simple daily tasks like vacuuming or pushing a broom or a rake or, or in this case, mopping a floor. A patient of mine today was asking me um, how she could protect her back. She, she has a, a nasty disc injury and doing really well until she did some hoovering and mopped a floor and then her back went wrong and so we were discussing how she was doing that and it turns out she was keeping her feet still and just pushing the vacuum cleaner away from her or with the mop she was pushing it into the corners and you can see that in that situation my only option really if I'm going to reach the object away from me is to bend forward around my waist around my my, uh, my lower back and in doing that increase the pressure on the discs and the discs really don't like that if they're injured and wounded. So how do you avoid it? You must hinge your hips, keep your lower back hollow, feel like you're sticking your bottom out really and the movement that you make is with your whole body. So you keep the object, the, the, the broom or the, the mop or the vacuum cleaner close to your body and the movement is made by your legs. So there's no movement from your spine, it's all happening essentially through your hips. Same thing with a, an upright vacuum cleaner, you don't want to be standing still and poking that into the corner, you want to be moving your whole body with the machine. Strictly come hoovering we call it. I hope that's helpful, share it with your friends, click like, click the thumbs up, Come back tomorrow because we're here every day bringing you better health for a good